Hey, this is Chris, and this is a quick demo of the Mighty Flipper plugin that I'm going to be releasing today. Uh, so I've built a stage here, which is a stage that I use for just generic previs and programming. And I've built on a couple of common errors that we might see when a rig has been built. Well, maybe everything looks exactly the way that it, it should in the picture, and then you start running some stuff and realize that a lot of your pixels are not where they should be or not where you want them to be. Uh, so this is a generic test pattern that I use on shows to quickly show me what's working, what isn't. It's a universal phaser uh, and it's in a recipe so that whenever I change groups, it will update automatically. So the areas that we're going to be looking at today, um, I've put in a couple of common problems. So these fixtures here and here are pixel lines. Um, they don't have a control channel. so you have a couple of ways to flip these around um, natively. You could build your own pro fixture profile. You can invert the instances there. You could do a grid store and then take it again, which is fine for simple um, orientations. But if you have hundreds of these things in lots of different orientations, it might get really boring really fast. Um, we have X4 bar 20s here. And for the sake of this video, let's just say our, um, our stage hands have put these ones just fixture two and fixture nine have been putting backwards but they've also spun them around so that they point the right way i mean they were considerate i guess um and then on this line of jdc's here they are filling right to left instead of left to right um so we'll tackle those one at a time um handily showing different functions inside the plugin so um let's switch here let's do the easiest one first which is going to be uh, these pixel lines. So uh, I'm going to take our selection here and show you an MA. Just click Mighty Flipper, flip Active Grid, and that will say it has flipped 160 positions. Fine. Okay. So if I take Highlight off, you can see that this grid view here is going to show uh, the wrong thing. Um, the Pence is still showing the wrong thing. Uh, and then as soon as we store it back into our group over here, uh, the recipe will update, and it'll whir around a bit, and then um, it depends, we'll start doing the correct thing. And uh, yeah, that's one set of fixtures fixed. Um, next, let's do the X4 bar 20s. Uh, so that's this group right here. And I know that these have 20 cells, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, do a matrix blocks of 20, put my highlight on, and then in defense, let's go through that one's wrong, and this ninth one on the end is wrong. So I am going to store those two fixtures in a flip me group. So it doesn't matter what the group's called or where it is, and it doesn't matter what order these fixtures go in. So that one and that one go in this group. Uh, merge that in there. So take our selection of fixtures that we want to flip and then run the plugin again, flip a group within a grid and group 12 is the one we had before. Flip those, they're done. We store it again, wait for the recipe to update and we should now have a nice line of X4 bar 20s. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so uh, lastly, let's have a look at the uh, JDC plates. So this uh, layout here is doing the correct thing, but you can see in Depends uh, that it is not doing the correct thing. These are still going the wrong way because we didn't touch them that yet. So um, that's this plate grid group. And because I have them right here in a layout and I can grab them, I'm just going to flick between selection one, which is this, these keywords are literally just selection one, selection two, or you can do it from inside the matrix editor, which is, uh, yeah, right down here. Yeah, active cell. So if I flick to selection two and just take these in selection two, um, then I can flip selection two in selection one, 48 position flipped. That looks correct. Um, and then store it into this grid group. Overwrite, clear out, and then our depends should now show this middle group. Yep, they are filling left to right. If we go back to our MA, you'll see that the layout is now wrong because of course it is, we just changed what it's doing. So um, that brings me nicely to the last function of this plugin, 
you can just select these cells and do flip layout positions. And this does exactly the same math as it did on the grid, but in the layout. So um, this can be really useful for if you want to build multiple selections. Um, so you fix the layout first and then build lots of different selections from it. And it just runs pretty fast. And now your layout is correct. Uh, this plugin is completely free and you can go and get it from add on desk. And I hope you have a lot of fun with it uh, as much as you can. And it saves you a bunch of time because that's the whole reason I made it. There is no reason for us to lose so much time in programming, just making sure that pixels do what they're supposed to do. Thank you.